Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences on what it's like for me to live with autism and then I like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media and finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And so in this video, I would like to talk to the brand new Dragon Convergence, and I have a few things to say. First off, um, Mazel Tov, congratulations, hats off to you, welcome, uh, Yokoso, Buena Vito, whatever, and you guys get the point. Um, I would like to give you guys some tips on handling Dragon Con. Okay, for those of you that are not staying here, uh, during uh, the convention and you are writing Marta back and forth. First off, you need to remember that Marta does not run 24-7 like some systems in, uh, in California or in Illinois or in New York or in Washington, D.C. Uh, I mean, uh, Mar Marta is useful, but it's not like our systems uh, in New York City. And uh, people consider this to be another version of Los Angeles for the Deep South. And uh, another thing too is, okay, if you're gonna be out really, really late at night and you wanna party, um, you, there are two options you can do. One, you can take some extra cash with you uh, in addition to your alcohol money. Um, especially if you're gonna be spending a lot of money at the bars, then you can um, call up a cab company. You can also download Uber, which is another taxi company, to your phone and you can take a credit card or a debit card and prepay up front and they will uh, take you uh, directly to your house. Um, and then another thing you can do, if you want to save some money on alcohol, you might want to go to a liquor store and bring alcohol from home. Um, let's see. Um, if you're staying here at the convention, one of the things you need to remember is that Dragon Con is not this um, small convention. You know, it's not a one hotel convention. No, it's a five hotel convention. And there are people everywhere. And if you are staying here, I mean, you are probably might be up several floors. Unfortunately, the elevators might be jammed most of the time and you might spend an hour or two waiting just to get to your hotel room. So you might want to consider taking the stairs back and forth. Yes. It might cause you to lose a little weight. It might wear you out going up and down. But I uh, guarantee you, it you will spend you you will save less time going up and down the stairs. Uh, and then a third thing to remember, uh, you know, with all, all of these jostling crowds, you, just because you enjoy a certain event and you enjoy uh, you're a fan of a certain genre. It doesn't mean that you have to do absolutely everything at once because Dragon Con will wear you out. So you might want to consider going up to your room and taking a nap. It can be an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever. Either way, it'll help you save on your energy. And then um, if you want to save money on food, you might want to consider going to Costco and buying a bunch of granola bars you might want to do some crackers. You also might want to consider getting yourself a little George Foreman grill and bringing it with you into the hotel and getting some bread and cheese and whatever and probably putting it in your roommate's cooler, whatever. Now that way you can have little grilled cheese sandwiches on your George Foreman grill or you can bring a crock pot and make soup. Um, and if you want to go out to eat and you want to save money, there's a subway down in the Peachtree uh, Center Station uh, Mall. So, um, that's all I have for now. 